Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we are here with another um, end of uh, year review videos. Um, I've been doing these for a while over the past few years. Um, basically, at the end of the year, talk about um, how the channel has grown um, and what I plan to do for the next year. Um, so, um, this has actually been a really good year for the Mr. Chabry channel. Um, we are sitting around 43,000 subscribers now, which is amazing. Um, <clears throat> it is just an amazing thing to think that this channel has grown at such a wonderful rate. Um, and we've been doing a lot of stuff this year, a lot of draft leagues. Um, in our last uh, year of review video, I did say that I was wanting to get into more draft leagues. Um, and we have um, done that pretty well. Uh, we've done um, some PGBL. Uh, we've done some NGDL. And we've also joined into the EBA, which was their premier season. Um, so <clears throat> we did quite a bit of draft leagues this year. Another thing I said I would like to do was some more um, basically playthrough series. Um, you know, Nuzlocke, um, just normal playthroughs, stuff like that. Um, and we have done a few of those. Um, not as many as I'd hoped. That's because the Renegade Platinum series took a lot longer than I thought. Um, I, I forgot how long of a game Platinum, you know, Diamond and Pearl was. And that that series took so long. It ended up taking, like, uh, I think eight months until we finally finished it. So it was an insane, insane series. Um, but we finally completed that. Uh, we actually completed the Shield playthrough, which I'm very proud of. And we actually started the Omega Ruby Wonderlock. Um, of course, we kind of... Um, started that and then had to do the shield since you know pokemon sword and shield came out um so we did a little switch in between but now that we've de de uh, completed shield um hopefully we can complete the omega ruby wonderlock as well um i've been wanting to do some more battles and the state of pokemon sword and shield metagame um, it hasn't settled down yet um so um i haven't got that many battles with that game plus i have to train up my pokemon and everything um, but we did get a few good Let's Go battles. Uh, we got a few remaining um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon battles until, you know, it was time to say goodbye to that um, game. Um, and basically the last battle we did of that game was actually the EBA battle um, where we made the playoffs but wasn't able to defeat um, uh, the the Toronto Maple Leafions. Um, but we did a whole lot of draft leagues, a lot of battles, a lot of playthrough stuff. Um, so we had a lot of fun. Um, looking, I'm going to tell you guys the videos that did the best this year. Um, usually what I do is only, um, only use the videos that I released that year. Um, but I think it might make more sense to actually look at the videos that did the best, even, you know, from previous years. Um, look at that and see, like, what videos seem to be the most popular. Um, so, of course, my number one is the Epic Think Chip Pokemon Stadium um, battle video, where I basically play with this little board game type thing. Um, and, of course, that is, like, basically the engine for the channel. That is where all the, the growth seems to be coming from, um, that one video, which is pretty amazing. Uh, my next most popular video is a look at the Pokewalker, where I basically show off the Pokewalker and what, the things that it does. Um, a lot of people probably um, never had a Pokewalker, and they're interested in that. Or they see the Pokewalker and it ignites a nostalgic feeling and they want to watch that. Um, same thing with the Pokemon Stadium uh, battle. Uh, a lot of people seem to love watching it because it gives them a sense of nostalgia. A lot of them didn't even realize it existed in their childhood. So um, they watch that and they're amazed that this thing actually is this existed. Um, some people had it but didn't realize they made Johto Pokemon for it. Um, so... It, that, that is just a, a huge video on this channel. Um, and the Pokewalker video is pretty good, too. Um, has a lot of views. My next one is the question and answer special. Um, basically, I made that um, to, you know, answer a lot of questions back in the day. That w was actually made, I think, in 2016. Um, a lot of people asking me about what is this Think Chip Pokemon Stadium thing. And that was basically me answering that. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm actually surprised that a few of these were on here. Um, a lot of the ones on here are actually, you know, the type um, the type guides that I made for Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And there's a few of them on here. Um, the, all Dark, Ghost, and Fighting types are, is the next one. Um, and also on this list is All Fairy Steel and Dragon types. 
and all rock and ground types. Um, so I'm guessing a lot of people, when they want to play through, you know, Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, um, they want to use some of these, like, types that are rarer in Kanto. So there's not really that many Dark Ghost or Fighting types, really, in Kanto. There's even less Fairy Still and Dragon types. So I feel like a lot of people probably watch that to get an idea of what Pokemon they want to use of those types because they're so, so limited. Um, and the Rock and Ground type, um, I guess... There's so many rock slash ground types, people probably watch that to, I don't know, get an idea of what ground type they want to use a rock. I'm not totally sure. Um, also on this list is my Pokemon Z-Ring unboxing. I'm actually surprised that this thing is still up there since um, the Z-Ring is actually uh, like a peripheral that came out with Sun and Moon. Um, of course, it does work with Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, but now that we're in Sword and Shield, um, it doesn't really do much um, but just sit on the shelf. Um, same thing with Let's Go. I'm surprised that this thing is still such a um, popular video. Um, I guess it's probably because it's an unboxing and maybe some people like to see uh, different collectibles from the Pokemon series. Um, the next one is my Pokemon plush collection. It's basically showing off all the plushes that I have at the time. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that tells us that there's a lot of people watching my channels that like seeing collectible items. So maybe that could be something I look at, you know, if I find some more collectibles that I have somewhere, um, somewhere stored away, I could pull those out and make uh, make a specific video on those. Um, another one that's on here is the Ultra Sun Ultra Moon Pokedex book. Um, I feel like a lot of people probably watch that to get an idea if they want the book or not, or you know, it probably just fits in with the collectible thing. Um, I think probably that would be a cool thing to do. Um, within um, uh, 2020. I'll, I'll go more into my plans for next year. Um, but uh, it's something to take note that it seems to be um, a popular um, thing to do is, you know, show off these rare collectibles, you know, the Pokewalker, uh, the Z-Ring, um, stuff like that. Uh, another popular video is actually a Let's Go Pikachu Eevee battle that I titled Shiny Gengar is Purple just because uh, my opponent was using a Shiny Gengar. Um, what I've noticed is Gengar is actually pretty popular in thumbnails or titles. A lot of people love seeing Gengar and clicking on Gengar. Uh, I don't know what it is. It might be that infectious smile that Gengar has, but it's just a wonderful Pokemon. And I guess that's why a lot of these battle videos, if they have Gengar in the thumbnail, people just click on it. Um, so I think that's a really cool thing. Um, going into 2020 for the Mr. Chabry channel, um, I think, of course, we're going to do some more competitive battles. Um, we're going to slowly switch all the way to Sword and Shield. Um, we're done with Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and, you know, stuff before that. Uh, we might do some Let's Go stuff here and there, because Let's Go and Sword and Shield are totally different metagames. They have a totally different feel when you battle in those games. Um, so we might do some of that, too, just to complement, you know, the Sword and Shield stuff. Um, of course, I'm probably going to do um, some Let's Go and Let's, uh, you know, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee until, you know, people just don't watch that anymore um but for now I, I plan on doing some more of those because it's an interesting metagame um i plan on doing some more playthroughs um i've got to complete omega ruby and and once we complete that uh we'll see what games i want to do after that um i've also been doing a minecraft series in the past few days and i've been having a lot of fun doing minecraft it doesn't seem to be as popular as you know the pokemon series that i do uh but I think it's fun to, you know, branch out and do other things here and there. I've always done that on the channel. Uh, I've done, like, Mario Maker series here and there. Um, you know, stuff before that, I did, like, a Mario uh, Mario March series where I just played Mario games for a little bit. Um, and I used to do something called Switch Demo Sunday where I would, like, every week pick, uh, pick another set of Switch demos and just play through them and see what I tell, tell, tell you what I think about them. Um, so, of course, we're going to do some more Minecraft stuff until I actually die in the game. Um, I don't know what game we'll touch after that. Um, we'll probably just take a break for a little bit and then, you know, find another game to be our um, non-Pokemon game for the channel. Um, but I do plan on doing more playthroughs. Um, I plan on doing more competitive battling. Um, once we get more um, competitively viable Pokemon, we'll start doing some Sword and Shield competitions because I actually... I didn't realize this, but I actually missed a competition that they had. Um, so, <clears throat> hopefully soon we can um, get some 
competitions going in battle in those um, of course we might do a few draft leagues i feel like i've kind of burnt myself out on draft leagues at the moment though um so i don't know exactly if i want to do draft leagues going forward I, I do know that i want to take a break from draft leagues um it's gotten to the point where they're not as fun um, and they're more of you know obligation it was it felt more like an obligation lately um and I, I, I did more draft leagues because they were fun but um, after doing so many of them, it, I might take a small break. Of course, um, after a while, I might jump back into draft leagues. But for right now, I might take a break on draft leagues for a little bit. I um, also think uh, it'll be fun to do like top 10 list videos this year. Um, I haven't really done one of those in a while, and that's because my computer really can't handle editing videos anymore. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, it just stopped getting to where it can edit videos. So hopefully soon um, I could save up enough money for a new PC and start editing videos again and actually have top 10 lists. Um, and another thing that I think would be cool that I've been seeing a lot of people um, <clears throat> watching lately, I don't know if it's people's been like it's something that's taking off or something that my algorithm just um, suggested to me and I've been watching it more and more is um, Pokemon challenge videos. Um, so I've been watching a lot of those and it seems a lot of fun. I might try one of those out. Of course, I wanted, if I started out, I'll do something simple like, you know, um, I think the first one I would do is try to beat all of um, all of Pokemon Red or Blue with just Raticate. You know, something simple, something quick, um, something like that, and see if I can do it. Uh, but that, that's what I've been watching lately, um, a bunch of challenge videos. I don't know if you know this, but um, you can tell what kind of content I'm watching usually based on what I'm making videos about. And I think it'll be fun to do challenge videos. So going into 2020, what I want to do is, of course, more competitive battling, some competitions, um, and also, you know, finish up the playthroughs that I'm doing, do some more playthroughs. Um, but the main thing I want to break into is doing some more, you know, top videos, maybe. Um, sooner or later, I do want to make a top 10 favorite Pokemon video. I, I do want to do that. Um, and also want to try out these challenge videos that sounds so much fun and i want to try it out um, i know a lot of youtubers are kind of worried about you know kappa stuff like that um hopefully it's not going to touch this channel you know that kappa meltdown that's happening on youtube but of course we don't know exactly until we see it so i mean if i have to jump ship i mean, I mean i'm sorry guys I'll, I'll have to but um for right now though i do have a lot of stuff planned for the channel and I think challenge videos would be the number one thing I want to try out. Of course, it seems like it's going to be a lot more time uh, time to put into than you know any other videos that I normally do. So um, sooner or later, we'll try that out. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.